Okay, this is going to be uh, the second part, part B of my uh, Calculus 1 question from the AP, AB free response questions. Um, and question uh, 1, part B says, find the equation of the tangent lines to the curve, um, this given curve, x squared minus 2xy plus 4y squared equals 64, at the, um, when the x-coordinate equals 2. So recall from, from part A, we found that the derivative dy dx, uh, the formula for that was x minus y equals x minus 4y. Um, and we know an equation of a line is simply y minus the y-coordinate um, equals m, which is going to be the slope of the tangent line at this point, and then x minus the x-coordinate, which we're given as 2. Okay, so when the x-coordinate is 2, um, so the things we're missing really are the y-coordinates. If I plug in x equals 2, I get 2 squared minus 2 times 2 um, y plus 4y squared equals 64. So it looks like we get, we're going to get 4 minus 4y plus 4y squared equals 64. And equivalently, this is, okay, um, I can write this as 4y squared minus 4y. If I subtract 64, I'll get negative 60 on the left equals 0. Um, and at this point, you know, I would divide everything by 4. Um, I think we'll get y squared minus um, just y minus 15 equals 0. And I think, well, does this factor? I don't think it's going to factor, so that means I'm going to have to use the quadratic formula. So it says I get negative b, the b value here would be negative 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, okay, again, negative 1 squared, minus 4 times a, which would be 1, times c, which would be negative 15, all divided by 2a, a again is 1. So it looks to me like we get positive 1 on top, uh, plus or minus, um, so it looks like to me we'll get positive 1 plus 60. I'm getting 61 over 2. If you plug these into a calculator, um, so again you're allowed to use a calculator on this portion, I'm rounding and getting 4.41 and also negative 3.41. Okay, so now I have the y values that go with x equals 2. All right, so let's give ourselves a little more room here. All right, so basically we have two points. Okay, so we know that we're going to be using the points 2 comma 4.41, and then our other point is going to be 2 comma negative 3.41. So again, the only things that we're really missing now are the slopes of the tangent lines. So if we evaluate the slopes of the tangent line, um, let's say at 2 comma 4.41, well, the derivative at these points is going to be plug in x equals 2 minus 4.41 divided by x, which is 2, minus 4 times 4.41. Um, again, reducing this and simplifying, I'm getting this to be 0.15. Um, if you plug in the second point, so again, 2 comma negative 3.41 into our dy dx formula. So x is 2 minus negative 3.41. We'll divide that, um, again, 2 minus 4 times the y value, again, which is negative 3.41. I plug this into my calculator. I'm getting this to be roughly, uh, or to be uh, 0.35. So the last thing we need are the equations of our tangent lines. So I think we're just about there. I think we're just about there. I'm going to squeeze it all in here. Okay, so it says basically the tangent line that goes with this point. Okay, so we're using this point, 2 comma uh, 4.41. We're using this as our slope, 0.15. So it says the equation will be y minus the y-coordinate, 4.41, equals the slope, 0.15. 
0.15 x minus the x coordinate which is 2 so, so that'll give us one of our tangent lines and the same thing if we use the other point um, we use that corresponding slope it says the equation of that tangent line will be y minus the y coordinate, which will give us um, y plus 3.41. The slope again is 0.35. x minus the x coordinate. And I think I would call it a day at this point. Um, I don't think, I think if you did all of this, I think, you know, I think you'd be good. I don't think you have to write this in uh, slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So, all right, um, I hope this example makes some sense. Again, uh, feel free to look at part A and also part C. Um, it'll be close by. So.